File six. Six point one. If I lend you my newspaper, we'll start talking. If we start talking, we'll become friends. If we become friends, I'll invite you to my house in Venice. If I invite you to my house, you'll meet my beautiful daughter Nicoletta. If you meet Nicoletta, you'll fall in love with her. If you fall in love with her, you'll run away together. If you run away, I'll find you. If I find you, I'll kill you. So that's why I won't lend you my newspaper. Six point two. E, e, o, o, u, u. Six point three. If, will, win, leave, meet, wheel, borrow, stop, wash. Law, story, talk, look, push, took, beautiful, move, cue. Six point four. Okay, Michael, can you tell us what to do in these three situations? First, what about the crocodile attack? Well. Once a crocodile has seen you, it will attack you. So doing nothing is not really an option. Ah. And a crocodile attacks so quickly that people never have time to swim to safety. The crocodile will try to get you in its mouth and take you under the water. Your only hope is to try to hit it in the eye or on the nose. If you did this and you were very lucky. The crocodile would open its mouth and give you time to escape.、Uh -huh. But I have to say that it's very difficult, although not impossible, to survive a crocodile attack. What about the bear attack? When a bear attacks someone, their natural reaction is always to try to run away or to climb up a tree.、Hmm. But these are both bad ideas. Bears can run much faster than we can, and they're also much better and faster at climbing trees. The best thing to do in this situation would be to pretend to be dead. A bear usually stops attacking when it thinks that its enemy is dead, and so if you are lucky, it would lose interest in you and go away. Uh huh. And finally, the bull attack. Well, if you were in the middle of a field, forget about running. Bulls can run incredibly fast, and don't shout or wave your arms because bulls react to movement. And this will just make the bull come in your direction. Ah! The best thing to do is to try not to move and just stay where you are. And then, at the last moment, to throw something—a hat or your shirt—away from you. If you were lucky, the bull would change direction to follow the hat or shirt, and you'd be able to escape. Ah!、Uh -huh. By the way, it doesn't matter what colour the shirt is. It isn't true that bulls like red. They don't see colour; they only see movement. Six point five, one. If I saw a crocodile, I'd climb a tree. Two. What would you do if you saw a snake? Three. We could have a dog if we had a garden. Four. If a bear attacked me, I wouldn't move. Five. If I were you, I'd go on a safari. Six point six, one. <laughs> Two. Three.
Seven. Oh no. Run! Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Six point seven. Song. Wouldn't it be nice? Six point eight. Hi, Mel. It's me, Ros. Hi, Ros. Listen, Mel. It's about the party tonight. You're going, aren't you? I don't know. I'm not sure. I might go, but I might not. I can't decide. Oh, come on. You'll love it, and you might meet somebody new. Okay, I'll go then. <laughs> Good. So, what are you going to wear? That's the other problem. I'm not sure what to wear. I might wear my new black trousers, or perhaps the red dress. But what do you think? If I were you, I'd wear the red dress. But the red dress may be too small for me now. Well, wear the black trousers then. Okay, I'll wear the black trousers. How are you getting there? I might go with John, or Ruth, or I may walk there. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Hello. Mel, it's me again, Roz. Listen, I've changed my mind. Sorry, I'm not going to go to the party. 
6.9. 1. I might go, but I might not. 2. You might meet somebody new. 3. I might wear my new black trousers. 4. The red dress may be too small for me now. 5. I might go with John. 6. I may walk there. 6.10 Confuse Confusion Decide Decision Imagine Imagination Inform Information Elect Election Invite Invitation Organize Organization Educate Education Translate Translation Communicate Communication 6.11 Welcome to this morning's edition of What's the Problem? Today we're talking about friends. So if you have a problem with one of your friends, call us now. And if you're listening to the programme and you think you can help with any of the problems, then just send an email to our website. Our email address is what.problem at radiotalk.com. Our first caller today is Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Hello. What's the problem? Well, I have a problem with a friend called Jonathan. That's not his real name. Well, Jonathan often goes out with me and my friends. The problem is that he's really mean. Mean? Yes. He never pays for anything. When we have a drink, he always says he doesn't have any money or that he's forgotten his money. So in the end, one of us always pays for him. At first we thought, poor Jonathan, he doesn't have much money. But it's not true. His parents work, and he works on Saturdays in a shop, so he must have some money. Do you think we should say something to him? Thanks, Barbara. I'm sure you'll soon get some emails with good advice. OK, our next caller is Kevin from Birmingham. Hello, Kevin. Hi. What's the problem? Yes, my problem is with my best friend. Well, the thing is, he's always flirting with my girlfriend. Your best friend flirts with your girlfriend? Yes. When the three of us are together, he always says things to my girlfriend, like, Wow, you look fantastic today, or... I love your dress, Susanna. Things like that. And when we're at parties, he often asks her to dance. Do you think he's in love with your girlfriend? I don't know. But I'm really angry about it. What can I do? Well, let's see if one of our listeners can help, Kevin. And our last caller is Catherine. OK, Catherine, over to you. What's the problem? Hello. I'm at university and I live on the university campus. I live in a flat and I share a room with this girl. She's really nice. I get on very well with her. But there's one big problem. What's that? She always borrows things from me without telling me. What does she borrow? Well, first it was CDs and books. But now she started taking my clothes as well. Sweaters jackets and things. Yesterday she took a white sweater of mine and she didn't tell me. So when I wanted to wear it this afternoon it was dirty. I don't want to lose her as a friend but what should I do? Thank you Catherine. So if you can help Barbara, Kevin or Catherine email us at what.problem at radio 6.12 1. Should 2. Shouldn't 3. Would 4. Wouldn't 5. Could 6. Couldn't 6.13 1. You should talk to your friend 2. You shouldn't be so sensitive 
Three. You should lock your clothes in a cupboard. Four. You definitely shouldn't pay for your friend. Five. What should I do? Six. Should I write to him? Six point fourteen. Hi, how can I help you? Do you have any painkillers? I have a headache. I'm sorry. We can't give our guests medicine, but we can call a doctor for you if you like. No, it's okay. I don't need a doctor. It's just a cold. But is there a chemist near the hotel? Do you mean a pharmacy? Sorry, that's right, a pharmacy. <laughs> sure, there's one right across the street. Thank you. You're welcome. Six point fifteen. Good morning. Can I help you? I have a bad cold. Do you have something I can take? What symptoms do you have? I have a headache and a cough.、Hmm. Do you have a temperature? No, I don't think so. Does your back hurt? No.、Mm, are you allergic to any drugs? I'm allergic to penicillin.、Oh, no problem. These are aspirin. These will make you feel better. How many do I have to take? Two every four hours. Sorry, how often? Every four hours. If you don't feel better in twenty-four hours, you should see a doctor. Okay, thanks. How much are they? Four seventy-five, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Six point sixteen. Good morning. Can I help you? I have a bad cold. Do you have something I can take? What symptoms do you have? I have a headache and a cough. Do you have a temperature? No, I don't think so. Does your back hurt? No.、Hmm. Are you allergic to any drugs? I'm allergic to penicillin. No problem. These are aspirin. These will make you feel better. How many do I have to take? Two every four hours. Sorry. How often? Every four hours. If you don't feel better in twenty-four hours, you should see a doctor. Okay, thanks. How much are they? Four seventy-five, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Six point seventeen. Bless you. Are you okay? It's just a cold. I had a bad headache this morning, but I feel better now. Listen, I'm really sorry about last night. What do you mean? At the party, I got kind of angry at Brad. He was really annoying me. Oh, I think he's very nice. Yeah, women always think so. Don't worry, Mark. Brad's not my type. So, what is your type, Ally? You know what my type is: dark hair. Thirty-four years old, lives in San Francisco. <laughs> Listen, tomorrow's your last day. I want to do something special. What would you like to do? I don't mind. You choose. How about a boat trip around the bay? We could do that in the morning and then have a nice dinner in the evening. That sounds fantastic. It's too bad you can't stay longer. Yes, it's a pity. This week has gone so quickly. I feel I've just arrived and now I'm going home. Well, I'm going to make sure tomorrow is a really special day. Six point eighteen. Bless you. I'm really sorry about last night. I don't mind. You choose. How about a boat trip around the bay?
That sounds fantastic. It's a pity. Six point nineteen. One. It's cold. Why don't we get a taxi? No, the bus will come in a minute. I'm freezing. Let's start walking. If we walk, the bus will come. Yeah, you're right. Let's wait another five minutes. Two. Jim and his wife came to dinner last night. We had a great time. What's his wife's name? Deborah. Don't you know her? No, I've heard Jim talk about her, but I've never met her. She's really nice. Well, I hope I'll meet her soon. Three. What would you do if you saw a mouse in the kitchen? I'd stand on a chair and scream. <laughs> but a mouse can't hurt you. It's just a little animal. I don't care. Four. What are you going to do tonight? I don't know. I might see a film, or I might just go home and stay in. What about you? I'm meeting Nicola in the pub. Do you want to come? Okay. Five. I want to buy a pet for my daughter, but I don't know what to get. What about a cat or a dog? You told me she loves dogs. Yeah, but we don't have a garden. I don't think people should keep dogs in flats. What about a hamster? No, they smell, and they can bite. A、uh, a goldfish then? That's a good idea. Six point twenty. Who's our next caller, please? Hi, my name's Dave. Hello, Dave. Where are you from? I'm from Southampton. And what's your problem, Dave? Well. I'm married. I've been married for five years now, and my wife Maureen and I were always very happy until last year. And what happened then? Well, seven months ago, my wife had a baby, a little boy, and he's wonderful and all that. But now everything has changed. In what way? Well, my wife doesn't have time for me now. She's only interested in the baby, and at night when the baby goes to bed, she's too tired to talk to me. She's like a different person now, and I don't know what to do. Well, Dave. First, I think that maybe you should talk to her and explain how you're feeling. And if I were you, I'd help her with the baby. Then she wouldn't be so tired, and she'd have more time and energy. And